Okay, let's move on. I, parang may problema lang ako dito sa angle na to eh. But, uh, bahala na. Kung tabi niyo po yung napapanood niyo sa screens niyo, sorry. Next time na lang namin na <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, dahil malapit na yung Pasko, I need to wrap gifts. Pero wala naman ako yung ipapakita extra special sa inyo. Gusto ko lang kayong makasama while I do this. But before I go ahead, can I ask you to pause and perhaps like my video and subscribe to my channel and tap that notification bell for updates on new videos coming up on my vlog. So I have here some of the stuff that I'll be using for my gift wrapping and most of the stuff that I have are actually from the dollar store. Dalawang klase ng dollar store, at least dito sa Calgary, yung mga biggest na dollar retailers are Dollarama and Dollar Tree. I go to Dollar Tree, so anong difference? Um, especially kasi may dollar naman sila pareho and you think that everything goes for a dollar. Hindi po. Sa Dollarama, you will find that some of their items go beyond the dollar mark. So actually, it's dollar twenty-five now because of inflation. Wow. No? So yung dollar natin, one dollar and twenty-five cents na ngayon. Ang dollar tree naman sells everything for a dollar 25 that's why i prefer going there of course there's that misconception that pag binili mo sa dollar store it's of poor quality flimsy material etc etc kaya nga meron tayong kasabihan na what do you expect dollar store diba? <laughs> but really for something that's gonna be torn up and thrown away like gift trapping for example Fair price na yung $1.25, di ba? I don't really mind. And sa experience ko naman, if you can trust me on this, lahat naman ng binili ko sa dollar store, the paper that I buy there, have all held up. And you don't have to worry about design kasi there's so much to choose from, really. Let's move on. Ang pinakamadali kong i-wrap, mga kaibigan, is for an item that comes in a box. Okay? This is... An Amazon box. Yung po kasing pangane ko ang hilig hilig mag shop online. And we get a lot of Amazon orders delivered. Pero tignan mga naman. Pag dating ng pasko, magagamit mga pala yung boxes. So, marami salama, Jami. And thank you to Amazon for the Amazon boxes that we have around the house. So, may nilagay na kong item sa loob nito. And then I'll show you now how to wrap this. I think it's common knowledge how to wrap a box. Today. Katoon lang, I got craft paper to use for my gift wrapping. Pero pag bumili ka talaga ng actual gift wrapping paper, even sa Dollar Tree, meron silang mga lines, meron silang grid, which makes it easier for you to cut in a straight line. Kasi medyo Medyo very particular ako sa cutting, cutting and staying on the lines. So, this one, I'm just trying. Medyo pinote ko lang siya para may imaginary line lang ako. Okay, now that I cut the paper, let's see. Sobrang gali lang ito, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, this is a good skill to have because my first job in Canada was in Indigo. So they sell they sell books and gifts. Tapos, dun sa kids section, merong gift wrapping station. And uh, yeah, I love 
wrapping gifts. So right beside Indigo on 130th, merong play place. And then pag weekends, busy on kasi they would host um, birthday parties. So some of the families, some of the parents, what they do is to just take their kids to Indigo to buy gifts. Siyempre, ipaparap na nila. And then go straight to the party. Diba? Like I was saying, this is a very good skill to have, especially dun sa mga nag-umpisa pa lang. Na those who want to work in Indigo and some other retail stores sa mga malls, meron sila mga seasonal jobs, especially for Christmas. Meron silang ano, gift wrapping station, diba? Actually, I really like wrapping gifts. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to make a wrap my gifts. I just enjoy it quite a lot. There are actually two occasions that gusto gusto ko. Well, first, yung Christmas nga because, yeah, gift wrapping. And then there is the start of the school year. Kasi, remember, e, a plastic cover mo yung mga books and, yeah, and notebooks. So, I really love to do that. Yeah. Then looks nice. And then I have this. I got it from Dollar Tree then. It's uh it's actually wedding stickers. But I'm gonna use them as you know gift tags or gift labels for my presents. For my next present, I'm going to use a gift bag. So this one I got for a dollar twenty-five. In this size, it comes in three. I like to store extras of these in generic colors para pwede mo nalang gamitin for any occasion, for any gender, di ba? Like this one is a great. Because it's really plain, I also got some bows that's blue and silver, medyo festive, to, to embellish our bag, okay? So we're just gonna put it sa taas. And if you want to reinforce it, I'm gonna put some more tape on the sides. There's one. Oh, again, we're gonna use another gift bag. Pag gintong size naman, you get two for the price of one. So, the blue one, and I'm gonna use this for bows for the price of one. Again, at the dollar tree. So, so you understand now why I like buying my stuff there. For gifts also, huwag niyong kalimutan to tear out the price tag. Yung iba, they cover it with a, like, write on it with a sharpie to cover it. Um, if you can cut it out, they do that. And just keep the tag on. So another thing that I do, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, is to reuse gift bags. Most of the time, you get your wonderful gifts in this perfect gift bag. What I do is just sometimes snip out the, the tag just so I know who gave me the present and who to thank for it. And then for the next Christmas or for whatever occasion, pwede siyang gamitin ulit. And uh, in the same way, ganyan din ako pag nagbibigay ako ng present, I like to just keep it neat. I try to avoid writing on the actual bag and just write on the tag that the receiver can, you know, snip off then or take off. And then they can reuse the bag as well. So again, you're just peeling it off. Okay. Like this. Thank you. Okay. This is my second bag. Okay, when I do run out of gift bags, I know how to make my own bag. I bet most of you do. Wala lang, natutuwa lang ako. So if you get like a t-shirt or any item that's irregularly shaped that doesn't come in a box, your go-to would be a gift bag. But if you're out of gift bags, then make your own bag. Yung wine niya, para malinis. I'm using like gift wrapping tape or invisible tape now. So it doesn't show on paper. 
doesn't show as much on paper, but yeah, you can still see it's there. So, syempre, palaging yung item yung palukat ko. So, this is going to be the bottom. So, I did the bottom. This is what it looks like. It's the bottom. Now, other people will be okay with this already. Ako, I like to work on the sides to structure the bag a bit. So, I'll show you. Make sure that you're scoring it really well or like holding really well. So it beyond the step call. You can see I'm going with the corner here as my guide. And then I make a fold to the top. So structured na siya a bit and it Medyo nakakatayo siya on its own. But if you want to reinforce it pa, if you feel like yung item mo is a bit heavy or may weight siya, um, you can just add cardboard doon sa bottom niya. Tapos yung dito. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your standard bag. So it's done. If you want to embellish this, so I made the bag and then just punched hole and then I got curling ribbon. Let's see, so this is how it came out. I also did this earlier, so I'm gonna try and do it again. Yeah, and sad to say, hindi ko na siya alam gawin. <laughs> At dahil na na ako, I should stop. So this is what I have for now. Just a couple more reminders. So, don't forget to ask for a gift receipt when you're giving away presents kasi very helpful yung gift receipt, especially for the receiver. Lalong lalo na if you're giving away clothes. So, yung receiver and gift can go back to the store that you went to and exchange it for a size that fits them better. Um, also for like duplicates. For example, yung mga nadobling toys from Toys R Us. They can go back to the store and exchange the item for something else. I mean, and like I said, um, you mga clothes, if you don't want to um, put them in gift bags or make gift bags, then you can find the box that fits. And because it's clothes, I like to wrap them in tissue paper. This is like 20 sheets that I bought again from Dollar Tree. Oh my, all of that I used now is Dollar Tree. Come back again. So, yeah. The gift receipt, don't forget to put inside the box. So, ito na yung gift box ko with pleats. You know, for me, it doesn't really matter kung dollar store items lang yung ginamit mo for your gift wrapping. It doesn't matter. Kaya mura yan, kaya mahal. It doesn't even matter to me kung ano yung presyo ng gift item mismo. I think what's more important is the thought of giving. Aww. There you have it. I hope may natutunan kayo dito sa simple kong uh, vlog today. And I just wanted to share with you my practical ideas on gift wrapping, especially my thoughts about buying stuff from the Dollar Trees. Thank you so much for joining me in my gift wrapping session tonight. And I do hope you'll join me again next time here on The Bright Side with Ting.